Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So in this video we are going to be doing a course walk at Badminton Grassroots going through the 90. However, I have been very lucky and I would like to say a massive thank you firstly to Tara and to Spinal Research who have organised this fantastic course walk with Ginny Elliott over on my left. So Tara, would you be able to tell us a little bit more about Spinal Research and about your story. Yes. Yes, so I'm sitting in this trike here. I broke my neck falling off my horse. Um, we were just out hacking. I decided to canter him up a big hill. He had some back problems. And uh, so I, because he had a back problem, I got out of the saddle, got up in my stirrups, asked him to canter and he just exploded bucking. So I couldn't stay on and I came off the shoulder, went to tuck my head to do a roll, didn't have enough room and just landed on my head with the weight of my body behind me and snapped my neck. So I broke my neck at the bottom here. Um, and it's just one of those freak accidents. And I think as a rider, you always know that it's possible, but you know, if I'd landed half an inch one way or the other, I would have been fine, but I didn't. I just landed at that awkward angle. Yeah. Um, and that turned me into a tetraplegic, which means all four of my limbs are affected. So I'm paralysed from the bottom of my neck. I don't have full use of my hands or my arms, which is obviously makes life quite difficult. And I'm sort of obviously can't, can't move my legs. Um, so, yes, I spent, I mean, I had a whole, you know, I was in a coma and I had to be on a ventilator and I was in intensive care and all that malarkey. And I spent about nine months in hospital in total. And while I was in hospital, I decided I wanted to try and raise money for charity. And I chose Spinal Research because they are the one charity in the UK that is looking for a cure for paralysis and is doing lots of work on that. Um, and so I decided that I wanted to raise money. So I raised, uh, a, we raised about £70,000 for wow. Spinal Research. And as a result of that, they very kindly asked me to be an ambassador um, and now a trustee. So that's why I'm, I'm working with them. And I am currently, uh, it's a really exciting time for them because they are currently funding a number of clinical trials with people so they're currently funding 16 trials and eight of them are with human beings so I'm actually on one at the moment and they have a number of therapies that are actually making a huge difference yeah. to people and actually restoring function so I'm on one which is using what they call neuromodulation which uh, is like jump starting a car which is not the technical way of thinking about it but that's how I describe it and that is running electrical stimulation down the spinal cord and we've had some remarkable results with that. So they've got other therapies coming through as well. Yeah. Uh, I don't think anybody's going to, we're not going to be getting to an immediate cure, but we are, are already at the stage now where we have therapies that can restore function. And we've seen people starting to be able to stand up. We've got some people who are able to walk over ground with a walker. My function's improved, my hands have improved, my strength has improved yeah. on the trial that I've been on. So it's just a really exciting time uh, to, for the charity to be doing what they're doing. Yeah, it really is. I mean, li you're literally proof that it's so worth putting the money into spinal yeah, research yeah. because obviously as horse riders, like you said, we all know yeah. that it's, it's a possibility whether you're at an event or whether you're out hacking yeah, like exactly. you were. It's, yeah. you know, it's a dangerous sport. We love it, but it's, it's definitely not the safest. No. So how can people get involved and help raise money? We've got something you guys can do sitting at home. Yes. Yeah, so what we have done is we organised a prize draw and Ginny has very kindly donated her time and also a VIP lunch. So the top prize is four pairs of tickets to Badman 2023. Uh, which involves a personal course walk with Ginny and lunch with her in the horse trials support group marquee, which is, uh, which is fantastic. I can confirm Ginny's an absolute hoot. You will have <laughs> a wonderful time. It will be incredible. Uh, and then we've also got lots of other prizes, so there's plenty of chances to win. We've got a Fairfax and Favour handbag, which has been very kindly donated. We've got a, a, a year subscription to a craft gin with a hamper. I so saw that. If you need yeah. lots of gin, that's very good for you. Uh, we've also got some other luxury hampers. Uh, we've got an Aztec diamond gilet. We have an Equilite torch headband. So there's lots of prizes on there, lots of chances to, to win. So uh, to go and play, obviously we'll put the links in. Yes, the links will be in the description. It'll be the first thing you see in the line. So we 
very easy to easy see. Easy to <laughs> click through. But yeah, so tickets, one ticket is five pounds. Uh, for ten pounds, you can get three tickets, and for fifteen pounds, you get five tickets. So more lots chances. Of, you more want five chances, chances, really? Really, go for the. Go you for the five you definitely want the course yeah. walk. <laughs> <laughs> definitely want the course walk. Uh, and Spinal Research will also pay on the course walk. It'll be four pairs of tickets, but you'll also get your entry and one car parking pass as well. So the whole day will be amazing. A treat. Oh, what yeah. a wonderful so day out. A total of eight people. A total of eight people, yeah. four pairs of tickets. Exactly. So four you can bring, and bring, bring a friend. friend. Bring a friend. Yeah. yeah. Wow, that's yeah. a big lunch. <laughs> and lunch. <laughs> and lunch with Ginny. <laughs> That'll be wonderful. I'd yeah. like to have lunch with you, Ginny. Oh, Maybe we'll have a bacon sandwich yeah, after. Yeah, we'll do something. We'll do something, especially when you get round. I'd around. love to. Brilliant. Yeah, when yes. I get round, then Absolutely. we'll have lunch. Yeah, definitely. If not, it's the stick, isn't it? It is. I'm you guys will see about that. Amazing. Well, thank you so much, Tara, and thank you so much, Spinal Research, for organising this wonderful course walk. I had an amazing time, as you guys are about to see. <laughs> but do head over to the Spinal Research website if you'd like any more information. And like I said, to enter the raffle is the first link you're going to see in the description. Please do head over. Even one ticket will make such a big, big difference. Right. Big thanks from me as well. Yes. <laughs> Let's go walk this course. So we're currently in the start box now and I've got the amazing Ginny Elliott with me. We're going to walk the BE90 track here at the Badminton Grassroots Championships sponsored by Voltaire Design. So Ginny, any tips for the start box? Well, I, I, think, um, the, I think you said the warm up is quite a long way away. Yeah. And quite a long hack on your own through what could be quite a few people. Tuesday, Wednesday, a few spectators, etc. So I think the main thing is have a really good plan before you go and warm up. And yeah. remember, you're holding her hand, she's not holding your hand. Yeah. And that's something we kind of forget. And we, it's our responsibility to give them confidence, not the other way around. Yeah. So to get on board saying, come on, we can do this. We're going to have a really good warm up. We're going to positively trot down to the start area and we're off. Yeah. And I, I think I just noticed that the first fence is pretty close to the start box. Yeah, it is. So it's sort of go, really. Yeah, there's um, no mess. <laughs> yeah. And the other thing is, you know, to just slightly pay attention to the fact there's quite a big bus there, quite close, tent, quite close. Probably not used to this sort of railing. Yeah you know, at your other competitions. Yeah. This is a bit more sort of, whoa. Quite dressed, yeah. yeah. So I think if you can come through the, the start box a couple of times just to get her accustomed to it. Yeah. And then I don't think I come in here earlier than five seconds to go. Brilliant, Because yeah. then you haven't got that moment of standing no. still for too long. No, yeah? keep a bit of momentum. Yeah. Alrighty. And then, as I said, number one is, is very close to the start box and actually is on a very slight angle yeah so it'd be quite easy not to be straight yeah and just slide past it i, I have to say <laughs> okay so when you start start here okay, this so side they come in through this entrance and almost sort yeah. of go a bit diagonally across yeah. and then get okay. as near to this tree as you can get yeah. Yeah, and then you've got more straighter. chance of actually making a little tiny turn to get Definitely. absolutely straight to it it sounds crazy, but it is possible to yeah. just go past it. Yeah, 100%. And, and people probably won't have noticed it is on a bit of an angle. Yeah. So I'm not that the cause spell is trying to catch you out, but kind of is. it's there for a reason, That's a good it? start, isn't it? Fence yeah. number one, they're always trying to get us. Do not <laughs> go past it, go over it. Yeah. Uh, it's, com you know, comparatively straightforward. I'm on the line that I would be riding here. And then I'm nice and square, and I probably aim for just left of centre. Okay. So you get a really good jump and a really positive jump. Yeah. Okay. First two or three fences instill confidence yes. in both of you. 
but you and don't don't be too backward when you start. <laughs> you don't know be backward. Already? <laughs> yeah, don't be backward. <laughs> You've said because it. it's a very inviting fence. Yeah, there's no, no reason is. to it be is. backward. And if you come into this and you have a great jump, you'll land thinking we. Yeah, and off and I go. And so will she. Yeah, a hundred percent. Okay, and get your line right. The second you land, otherwise you waste time. Yes. So you land, you go. Okay, my line over here is going to be quite close to this post. Again, this comes up quite quickly. Yeah. And you want to be straight. So look back, nice straight line. The road, I wouldn't worry about the road, it's fine. Let's just talk about that uh, seeing a stride pattern. Yeah. <laughs> how, how would you talk about that? Do you see a stride pattern or do you just... Yeah, so... And, and people say, do you see a stride? I mean, I say, do you see a stride pattern, but... Yeah, I think I do and I get a bit in my head about it. Like, if I can't see one, mm -hmm. my immediate response is to hold until, okay. like, until I've seen one. So I'm, like, adding loads of strides because she's only about 15-1. She's not a big mare. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I would say I do... Like, I can see a stride, but I'm, I'm always holding for a stride rather than pushing for a stride okay. the majority of the time. So, for example, uh, looking at fence two, yeah. where are you going to look? Well, I should look uh, like past it, shouldn't I? But I think I'd look down into okay. the bottom. So, uh, do you play tennis? No. <laughs> do you play ping pong? I've played ping pong, okay. yeah. Okay, <laughs> so if when you're playing ping pong, what are you looking at? The ball. Correct. Yes. So, <laughs> good answer. Ping pong lesson. <laughs> 10 out of 10. So, with the fence, yeah. if that's what you've got to jump, yeah. that's what you've got to look at. Okay. Okay? Yeah. So, never worry about actually looking at the jump. Okay. Don't think about looking over the jump because you're not doing something over the jump. You're jumping the jump. See, okay. That's what I like. I like to look at the jump. Right. <laughs> it's, not, it's not a sin. Yeah. So, if you've got a, a spread, like, which is what, well, it's, it's an ascending yeah. fence. Where do you think you should be looking? Think, you think about the shape of it. Top, bottom, bottom. Which bit are you going to, the, this bit, that's quite... Mm. Look at the bottom. That, that's the bit <laughs> I'm that's sensing near, the that's the bit yeah, that the horse, the horse... Yeah, that's true, yeah. Yeah, that's the bit. going to meet. Yeah. Okay, so on this particular fence, I probably be looking at the base rail. Okay. Okay, because that's that's your takeoff point, isn't yeah, it? Yeah. Yeah. So from here, you're going to go focus, base rail, see your stride pattern. Then you can look beyond Above. the fence. Right. One and two. Okay. 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 Yes. So yes. I hope this. You know, do all these secrets. Do you think? Mm, I know. Sure, I, I, might, I might edit all these out. <laughs> so you've got to focus on that fence because yeah. that's what you're jumping. Yeah. Yeah. So you're looking at that and you will see your stride pattern mm -hmm. probably as you cross the road. Yeah, so that's what Once I Once you've know. seen it, then you're going, OK, where's the next fence? Because yeah. you've done it, so you've yes. done your job. But if you, if you look at that, then you look over there, then you look back to it, you've already lost, lost probably two strides. strides. Yeah. So how on earth can you, as a human being, see the stride? Yeah. It's not possible. Yeah. So think about ping pong. Ping pong. Yeah. Oh my word, the hundred looks big. Oof. That's not, it's fine. That's not big for you, Ginny. No, it's fine. Listen, <laughs> you've, you've jumped number one beautifully, and now you're going to go, this is a piece of cake. <laughs> okay. She will be probably thinking she's going that way. Yeah, yeah. So you've got to sort of give her a little bit of a, oi. Come on, pay attention. Yeah. We're actually turning right here. And a little bit, make your prep sort of there. Uh -huh. So you actually come through the turn in the pace you want to jump the fence. Okay. Okay? Yeah. If you're still grappling here, a bit here, you're taking her mind uh, off yeah. where she's going. Yeah, that so makes sense. So it's another sort of rule is that, for, you know, within the last three strides, it's too late. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so do whatever prep you need to do before that moment. Mm -hmm. Because if you start going uh or uh two, two strides yeah. away, you've already her taken off. her yeah. 
attention off what she's supposed to be doing. So try and do your prep. And here. at least I've got a bit of a turn here that should yeah, you won't have get to her back a bit. Slow down that much. I mean, it, <laughs> it's you know, you it's, a, it's right, a nice Diddy. turn, <laughs> and you need to come down enough. Okay, so it, yeah, you need to come down to about here. Yeah. Okay. Your tree is a lovely wing. Yeah. As is that. Yeah. So we should be Gucci. You should be Gucci. Yeah. <laughs> but but don't be don't be kind of cute. And, and try and do, you know, yeah, don't be too it, Yeah, because that would, yeah. That it is nice too early more. to get clever. Yeah, you, I, I don't really get clever you're until sort I've of, finished. <laughs> well, you're sort, of, you're sort of building your confidence together yeah, at this no, point. Yeah, no, definitely. So, again, do you know what? The prep. So you, you've, you've kicked on down that chute there. Yeah. I nearly say whoa, whoa, whoa before you get to the road. Uh huh. Steady. Yeah. Come across the road and then here, kick. Come okay. on. Okay, right. We've yeah, got, got you've got to jump this. Yeah. Otherwise, you'll be kind of breaking at the wrong minute. You'll okay. still be breaking here. Yeah. When and actually I, here she you need to be told that we're jumping. So okay. so get her sort of organised to make that turn. It's the turn that's the problem. Yeah. You, so in the speed you feel comfortable doing that sharp turn is what you want. Yeah. But the second you get off that road, Go you're again. on it. Okay. You, you foot foot down on the accelerator button, yeah? <laughs> okay. And you want to you want to just come across enough. Okay, so here it's clear. Yeah. What she's jumping. Yeah. And he's put that there. And he's put that there, so you're not straight. Yeah. And you, you start wobbling. Wobbling. Uh -huh. And it is bigger than the other fences. Yes. It yep. is quite clear. I mean, it's you can brush through it, but it yeah. is bigger. Yeah. So you've got to do your job, get on the grass, get as straight as you can, and just go. And okay. where are you going to look at this one? Down the bottom. Correct. Get my stride. And then go. Then go. That is it. Go. And if you're if you're sort of slightly behind her and you've said this is it, if she chips a stride, it doesn't matter. Yeah. Because you're in good balance, uh -huh. yeah? Mm -hmm. But if she doesn't, then we are showing off to everybody <laughs> over there. Then Mums. we are going to fly her. Yeah. <laughs> but that's the, the most important thing is, you know, they can always alter themselves as long as you have them in balance. Yes. It's when you fall forward and sort of drop the reins and you're on their shoulder, they can't cope. Yeah. Okay. So although none of us are particularly heavy, it's still altering. Yeah. So you exactly. stay behind her and keep her in front of you. She'll she can chip, she can do anything. They're very clever. They've got four legs. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. It's quite big. <gasps> the house! Our first little glimpse. Yeah, there's the house. Oh. I'm gonna hug the right side. Yep. All the way up, yeah? Okay. Then she gets to see the fence nice and early. Yeah. That's the point, really. And I would do the left hand side. Okay. Nice. I mean, you could say it's quite bright. Yeah, that, yeah it's a bit spookier it's, than. It's a bit spookier than what we've seen so yeah. far. And if, if she has a little. Just give her a couple of taps on the shoulder. Yeah. It, it works wonders. A tap on the shoulder is the best signal. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I mean, if you're in desperate, uh, if it's going to stop. Yeah. Even then, actually doing that behind the girth, you, can, yeah. you know, they're going to run out left. Yeah. You know, they're going to go left. So I always think a little tap, Down the come shoulder. on, pay attention. Yeah. And they really genuinely do. They, they, they want to help at the end of the day. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, just be aware, she might think that's quite bright. The only thing about this is that there, there are no wings. Yeah. And it's not overly generous in width. No. So, for me, again, straight. So, you're going to jump the left-hand side there. Yep. And then, do you see that fir tree behind? Yep. That's your line to the centre of six. Okay. Right, you're going to line up to the centre of six to, towards the fir tree. 
They are absolutely straight and they're going to make a nice tiny curve to be. Okay. Only because of what's in the background. Uh -huh. If that wasn't there, you could be a bit more cheeky. Yeah. Come a little bit here. Angle, yeah. But I'm just thinking there's a lot to look at. So let's see if there's a distance to walk. So lovely and straight. Whee! <laughs> Jump that. I don't think I'll be weeing. Oh, you will. <laughs> so you're going to land heading for the fir tree. Land. Then immediately you're going to look at B, okay? One, two, three. One, two, three, two, one, two, three. So isn't that a really nice forward four? Did you make it a forward four? Yep. Yeah, that works. What you must remember to do yeah. is when you land, you need to... Okay. You need to push yeah, her forward. Yeah, and this will all be backing her off as well. Yeah, because it's better to make up the first two and then you can be a little less go, go the yeah. next two. Uh -huh. Okay, so you, you land, go, go, where are we now? Oh, maybe go. Yeah. And then... Then hopefully we meet this nice. You'll meet that than really well. Long. Yeah. But don't land and sit. Okay. Land and go. Yep. Okay. I need that but in my she head. she will be... This very lucky. Lucky, lucky at that water. Yeah. So this is your first problem. Yes. That you might forget to do the job. So as you've jumped that, you say to yourself, what's my job? I've got to set up, go do a nice stride into the first, land and go, go. Where am I? Yeah. Dum dum. Uh -huh. Okay? Yeah. Most very importante. Okay. <laughs> and then when you land, you know, she might go, ooh, what's that? You say, it's fine, get on with it. I suppose at least it's not flagged here. No, you Although can do, with, can do with everything, everything you like. Doesn't really matter, does it? So, now the exit is important. Yeah. She might shoot left. Yeah. Because of that. So you've got to be slightly aware that she might do all sorts of things, mm -hmm, but you've mm -hmm. got to manage it and just ride by the seat of your pants a bit. <laughs> and then literally look at it and just ride it. Don't cut in too early. Yeah. Just make sure you absolutely straight again. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Because that is very easy. Yeah. So yeah. you're nearly, you're nearly, you're nearly coming right to left at it, but yeah. you're not. You've got to be thinking that a little bit. Okay. Okay. You just want to be absolutely square on it. Uh-huh. Yeah? Yeah. So, so your, your route out of the water is really important. So hug. Hug, hug that side, right post. Come down, then almost feel like yeah. you're going and, a bit and more up And stick in this. the right hand, you know, a bit on, maybe on the shoulder. Mm -hmm. Come on. This is yeah. important. But what you don't want to do is to let her mess about and take too t long a time through the, the water. water. Yeah. Just let her get her feet wet there. Come on, we can yeah. do this. Come on, keep going, keep going, keep the engine going. Yeah, okay. All right? Yeah. But it is, it's lovely, but it has got its door open yes, it rather has. a lot on the right hand <laughs> side. <laughs> and also home is there. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, there's all that to think about. But as long as you, when you've got yourself into the water, just think of your next job. Yes. You know, say well done when you finish. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and you will That's say well done because you're going to ride brilliantly, but Yay. think of your next job after each fence. Yeah. I doubt you'll have people lined up behind that yeah. roping. I doubt it. No. Um, if you did, then you would, you're well placed where you're walking right there. Uh-huh. Because then you, kind of square up to it and give yeah. them a free passage away. Yeah, so they can see the exit. But I would doubt you're going to have people there. No, so. not at this kind of fence, hopefully. I wouldn't have thought so. Depends if all the fans come. 
Yeah. <laughs> yeah, a lot. I gather it's a huge amount. Perfect. So there's n nothing wrong with this. No. And again, this is the bit you're looking at. Yeah. You see your see your distance. And off you Look go. Up onto my next yeah. one. Nice. You've had a great ride over that one. Yep. There's no reason we have a great ride over this one. And the nice thing is it's uphill to it. There's nothing not to like, is there really? So I need to try and sort of meet this in my stride a bit. And yeah. Not let it slow me up so, too much. So, you know, a little bit land over the last one. Off we go. Off we go. Come on, keep coming. Yeah. And then just sit up. Don't necessarily take back, but yeah. sit up and say, right. You know, we're going to see a nice stride pattern to this and yes, we are. stay behind her. Yeah. And if you haven't seen one, she'll chip and dump it. <laughs> if you haven't seen one, sit up. <laughs> yeah, as long as you sit up and stay behind her, she'll do anything you like. It's when, <laughs> it's when we kind of fall forward onto their shoulders that they yeah. physically then have a problem yeah. with, with sorting it out for themselves. Yeah, definitely. And if occasionally they have to sort it out because we're not always right. Yeah. And that's why you feed them and you put them back in the stable that night. Thank you for saving me. <laughs> oh, I might be saying that a lot. <laughs> yeah. And now you're altering your pace. Uh -huh. And then you've just got to decide when is a good moment. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. Now, if she's been going really well, I'm going to turn now. Uh huh. OK. And I'm going to try and square up to it. So I'm left of centre. Okay. Okay. Nice wing. No wing. Right. Okay. Bear that one in mind. So aim left. So uh, left of centre, you've been, you're, you're, you know, you've got a very good protection wing here. Yeah. If you're jumping it here and you're a slight angle, good night. Open nice, door. City, yeah. yeah. Uh huh. <clears throat> so, you know, just come around the corner and say, so I'm going to jump the left of centre. Bang. Land, then it gives you a nicer turn yeah. to the next one as well. Yeah. Okay. And I think this is definitely the way to do it because that puts me on a way better line for yeah. 10, doesn't it? I think so. So these ones you can jump either way for people watching, but we're going to pick. And this is quicker. This way. Yeah, this is definitely yeah. quicker. And we're, you know, we want to think about that too. So you've jumped, you've landed left of centre, you're looking. You can be a bit cheeky here. Make a turn. Okay. Quite, quite where we are now. I don't know how cheeky I'll be feeling. And then we're going to jump right of centre because uh -huh. we've got another wing. Yep. What's not to like about that? We have also got a tree in the background, which is slightly annoying. <laughs> um, do you think I could come on like this kind of angle, or do you think that's asking too much for? Is she quite good at angles? I have been doing some angled fences at home because I know that they were, this was coming up. Yeah, I think... I wouldn't want to do it too, too much, but... I, I think I'd go... Uh, what I would do is... You see that slanting rail in the distance? Yeah. That's my line. Right of centre. Yeah. Yeah. To the slanting pole. OK. If you're feeling really confident, you could do to the, not quite that tree, I don't think. Well, maybe. If yeah. you're feeling really confident, you could do right of centre to that, that single tree. OK. It's a matter of two or three feet, yeah. really. Yeah. If she's going like a dream, then, then make a nice turn. a little bit more. Right of centre to that tree. Yeah. But don't be tempted to, to go it. left of centre. Yeah. Because that's the perfect opportunity to just run past it. Yeah. As long as she knows that you, you know, that is it, uh -huh. then you'll be fine. Okay. Okay. So we wee over this one. <laughs> Boing. At least it's not too big. No. Straight to the next post. Yeah. And you're going to carry on going straight. So you've saved a bit of ground. You haven't wibbled wobbled around. Yeah. And you're going to put your eye on that fence. You're going to see a lovely stride pattern by here. You're laughing. <laughs> and off you go. 
so easy. Yeah. Boing. Okay, that's fine. Could deal with that. I mean, this this one you could be looking at the front front yeah. bar, as I call it. Yeah. And by the way, when you're doing oxes in the show jumping, uh -huh. where do you look at those? Probably the front bar. Good idea. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> that's the one I'm most likely. I've had a I lot of people that have said to me the back bar. Yeah. And I'm going oh like that. It makes me feel quite ill, actually. <laughs> yeah, that's half a stride. Yeah, yeah, wrong, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know. Yeah. So yeah, no. this front bar, oxa. Yeah. Yep. Well, you can go home and say I've jumped the. <laughs> what do they call this? <laughs> the thing? badminton a, broken bridge. The broken bridge. Yep. Oh, I'm not actually a big fan of this at the minute. No, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's it's a plop. Ginny, that's not a plop for it me. It is a plop. That might be a plop for you. It's a plop. It's not a... That's a big plop. Okay, if this was grass... Yeah. Your attitude would be very different. Yeah, it would okay? be. Okay? Yeah. So the fact that this is not grass makes it look quite... Ooh. Yeah. So you've got to forget that that's not grass, yeah? Yeah. And but you, Jam won't be able to You would jump this standing on your head. Uh-huh. So this... I mean, that's the thing. The ditch actually makes no difference, does it? The None. The ditch is completely None. right now. Zero. So, Mum, the night before the cross country, had my green dye. Yeah. And spray this green be, for you, and then you'll be fine. <laughs> See, this is where the course bill is quite clever. Mm -hmm. He psychologically psychs you out. Yeah. You're thinking, Whoa, <laughs> yeah. This looks horrible. So you've got to imagine that that's green grass. Uh -huh. And if it was... You suddenly think, wow, that's not grass. Probably. But you know it's actually not really big. Yeah. It and really isn't really big. And what kind of speed? Keep coming. Really? Yeah. It's, 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 it's lovely. It's, not, it's, not a trot? <laughs> no! It's sloping. It's forgiving. Yeah? Yeah. You've just jumped your lovely... So come downhill. Come down the hill. Yes, get her a bit balanced, uh -huh. but don't slow down too much. Okay. Okay. Look at the bottom rail. Twenty-five strides away, you're going to see your stride, and then you're going to go. Wee! You'll have a really nice time over this one. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And that is grass. All that right. is green. <laughs> grass. That's all it is. It's grass. Okay. So if you blank that out as green, you wouldn't you'd walk, no, you it, wouldn't even stop and look at it. It would be so yeah. Yeah. Okay. So that's your attitude. And she's seen enough by the time I get to this point. Yeah, and tell her to grow up a bit too. Yeah. You Just tell say, me to grow, grow up. up. There's nothing wrong with this. <laughs> grow up, Jan. Yeah, get you over can it. be quite bossy with her and say, come on, just grow up. You're number eleven, you've gone brilliantly. Don't be ridiculous. Okay. Yeah? Yep. Cool. The terrain is quite awkward. Yeah. So I'd come centre and then I'd actually move up to the right hand side because it's it's less yeah. cambery, you know. It's more it's a little flatter. Yes. And I think you'll you want to be on the right side of the ropes for the next one. I think it's okay. maybe on the left there. Okay. And the second she's done that, then go. Okay. You know, so come on, you've had your yeah, come on. <laughs> you've breathed. <laughs> because okay. you know, you've got to be yeah. Organised for this one, obviously. You move slightly to the centre, stay in the centre, and that gives her time to assess it. Uh-huh. Yeah, the good news is you've got a nice wing. Yeah. And I would go fractionally. Oh, OK. Right to left. Okay. Very, very fractionally. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you're just making sure that she's Absolutely certain. I don't think she'll. No, there's not that many options yeah, there's a there, tree, there. There's another tree. Yeah. The only thing is she's, you know, she's come up that hill and yeah, she might have got a little bit of head yeah. stuff. But all right, that so nice. that's that's quite nice, inviting. Yeah. And it's quite kind, isn't it? I mean, <laughs> she good, pretty good with ditches. I, she'll have a look. But I, I wouldn't say she's awful with them, but she will notice it. She's not okay. one of those ones that won't see it. Well, the good news is you've done about three of these already, haven't you? Yeah. So she won't be suspicious. No. Um, <clears throat> I think middle to right side 
So she's got, a, and she and you have got a bit of time. Yeah. Because it's on the angle again, okay? Uh -huh. And there ain't no trees. There are no, no. And it's quite easy, even though that fallen tree's there, quite easy to just say, do you know what, not today. Yeah. So I think I'd respect this. So come up sort of here mm -hmm. and, and really square up to it. Okay. And again, a little bit tap on the right shoulder. Come on, mean business. Yeah. Just needs a bit of respect. Yeah. It's not. It's not even a ditch, actually. But no, it's, it's a horrible. It's still. It's a spread, yeah. you know. And yeah. Like you've just come up another little hill. Yeah. So I just think respect it. Just square up to it, and off yeah. you go. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Quite wide when you. It, it is quite wide. Wide, Yeah. It? So. Remember, that's your ground rail. Yeah. That's your Take, triple yeah. bar. Imagine. So I it's... can afford to kind of get quite well, you close can, yeah, to Yeah, you this. can get here. I don't want to be doing two be, strides no, back you, from here because then I'm... You don't want to be off it. No. So right, you want so to see, aim to get sort of in the bottom. Yeah, see your distance to the base okay. is perfect. Okay. In the show jumping, when you're doing a triple bar, mm. you'd always want to be yeah. close to the base. Yeah. Well, if you in your head imagined that it's this another had another rail, rail here... That's the thing, it'd be so much less scary if it just had another rail Well, there, there you go, you've convinced Lose yourself now. <laughs> it is, in fact, a triple bar. Yeah, yeah, it is a triple bar. This I is a triple bar. I can see it now, and that's green back there. Yeah, this is a triple bar. It just happens to be a different colour. Mm -hmm. So you're seeing your, your stride pattern to the base of your show jumping triple bar. Yep. Piece of cake. Easy, they've made it 13 as well. Yeah. Turn right second you land uh -huh. and try and come up towards this. That first tree yeah, there. Yeah, because you yeah. want to give yourselves both time to actually assess it. Yeah. Do you think come inside that tree? Yeah, at the moment, definitely. Okay. But you can imagine if you got drawn over the here. rope, yeah. Then your corner becomes really, really sharp. difficult. Mm -hmm. And then your line into the corner is minimal. Yeah. So if you've given yourself the opportunity of coming up towards this, what do you call those things around the, around the tree? Wooden pallets, wooden structure, wood, the sculptor in front of you, yeah. Yeah. It's a new countryside sculptor. <laughs> so you're going up towards it, yeah. <laughs> mean, meanwhile, your eye is on the corner. Yeah. But you are still going straight. Yeah. Then you're going to make a little turn here, and she goes, oh, OK, that looks fine. Yeah. But don't go up to this for too long, because when you turn, yeah, you're immediately sort of giving her a uh -huh. lovely exit. Uh -huh. So you've got to walk this line very carefully and know it backwards. So you're heading up to this, yeah. up to about uh, here, mm -hmm. okay. I'm on the edge of it now, and I'm looking, and I'm going. Now's the moment to turn, right, like this. So you're slightly hugging that, okay, there, and you're absolutely straight. And there's absolutely no reason why you don't jump it, <laughs> right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But it's all to do with over there. Yeah. Nothing to do with the jump. Mm -hmm. It's to do with your preparation, your turn, her seeing the fence, you seeing the fence, seeing the stride pattern. Yeah. Because that corner is what happens to this fence. Yeah. Got yeah. it? Uh-huh. OK. And lots of people will be thinking about this. Yeah. Because the fence itself is, is OK. fence is lovely. Really nice. I wouldn't guess why it's lovely. No, it is. It's lovely. <laughs> it's, it's very fair. Okay. Um, and if you look back, you've come straight through dead center and away. Yeah. OK, so you need to walk that boss boss really, really well to get your line right. OK, right, I'm going to do it again. Yeah. Yeah. Here. Yeah. Hug this turn. Right? Well done. We're going over. And take off. Beautiful photo. On to the next. Smiling. 
at the camera. Oh, there's a bit of a drop on here. Yeah, you won't notice. Did you spot that? <laughs> I think I will You'll be fine. Yeah, I mean... Should not, be fine. There's not much to not like about that. No. So, nice ground line. A little, in a way, a bit of a let up, having jumped the corner. Yeah. The one before. Yeah, we've had a few tricky events. Yeah, in the it's been quite sort of intense, if that's the right word. Yeah, but then straight to the coffin, which is well, a bit nasty. Go, yeah. <laughs> and undulation. Yeah, this is horrible. Yeah, there's a lot of things to get you out of balance here. So first thought, as far as I can see so far, is that I'm going to hug the, the, the yeah. that white uh -huh. stick, yeah? Because the ground's quite good. Yeah. And you're reasonably on the flat. And they're coming around here. And you're looking already. Look, uh -huh. look, look, look. Are you good at switch, swapping your stick over? Um, I don't do loads of it, but I, I can. Like, I can, <laughs> I'm, I'm capable of it. Um, <laughs> I, I'd have to, like, pick points. But I've got a good amount of time, maybe if I swap it but after the corner. I'd oh no, like... I want it in my left hand for the corner. You should really, ideally. So maybe I should, swap I need to swap it... it after that brush thing that has the open. Maybe well, wasn't even after that bad. The, the ditch brush. The, heart, the, heart, the bridge. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's got a bit of time Starting there. Time going up that hill, fiddling around. <laughs> Coffee know, break, we've got up there. Coffee break, all that stuff. I'd swap it there, so okay. you do the, the hedge. Then the quarter. Yeah. Yeah. Then that one, all in your left hand. Yeah. Then you've jumped this, and I I would give her a bit of a smack on the left shoulder here. Okay. Just say, she come on. She really over jump stitches. Well, that's great. Is it? What's not to like? Well, I'll get unseated. No, right, you right won't. about there. Don't be ridiculous. Of course you won't. <laughs> You're going to get smack her on the left shoulder. Don't, you're asking her to stay straight. You're uh -huh. not asking her to jump the... Fin if, if you had it behind the girth, that's yeah. different. But all you're saying to her is, one little tap on the left shoulder. Stay straight. That's yeah. all I want you to do. OK. OK? So don't worry about that wee over-jumping this, because you won't do that. OK, so she's going to land here. Yeah! <laughs> Even if she lands here, it doesn't matter. OK. Because she's clever. <laughs> and that brings you to here. It's absolutely perfect. So I need around. to quite push there, do I? Because it's obviously uphill and... Well, you've just told me she overjumps them, so, you, it, so let's hope she does. OK, all right. And actually, if she spooks at it... Yeah, what if we get one of those funny jumps where they kind of like land like that? Then you have to ride. Ride. Ride, <laughs> ride, ride. ride. <laughs> okay. OK. And if you're sitting behind her mm -hmm. and she chips, it's not a problem. Yeah. What you don't want to do is go chuck the rain. Yeah, go on, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like that. Just sit behind. At least her. The, like this, you can kind of fiddle over, can't Very you? Very forgiving. Yeah. So the the answer is you'd like to do it in one, but it won't matter if you do it in two. Okay. But good. Your idea is to do it in one. Yes. Okay. All right. Perfect. Onward. <laughs> You'll make it look easy. How many times do you? Normally walk a course. So like, would you suggest walking a course? Well, if I was riding here in the other class, <laughs> the hundred, uh, oh, the five star. Sorry, <laughs> uh, I would walk it four, four times. Yeah. Okay. And is Wednesday, that Wednesday? Obviously, briefing day. Yeah. Uh, so that's one Thursday, two Friday, three early Saturday, four. And do you do the like? Do you do one completely by yourself, just as a? Or, like, did you prefer going with people? No, no, or... I always, very rarely with... I, I used to have two, two people who I kind of... who knew uh, my horses very well. Yeah. One was uh, somebody who used to help me cross-country, and the other one worked with us at home. Yeah. But at the end of the day, um, you know, I think you know your own horse so well. Yeah, 100%. I felt it, it's nearly dangerous to get too many inputs. Uh, people giving their yeah. opinion, and, because each horse is a different stride. Yeah, ones with a long stride, ones with a short stride. And I, as I said to you at the start, you know, 
some horses pull, some horses, horses do, yeah. and you've just got to know your horse. Yeah. Where are you? What are you jumping? We go through, I think, through the arch, I'm what? assuming, to 17, yeah. Oh, OK. Don't worry, it's not 30 over there. It's <laughs> a five star. <laughs> I think we'll stick to one on here. I like this one. <gasps> Crossing the five star track again. Yeah, done it yet again. Oh, we're going through the same archway as them. There's another psycho. I mean, that's a horrible. Thing. Oh, so why can't you just jump the one in the middle? Savage. Now you're going to have fun over this. Yep. This is my favourite fence on the course. That's a nice fence. That's a really nice fence. The um, the coffin was 16, wasn't it? I didn't know. I'm actually checking numbers. Um, I th am I yeah, going up? The oh, exactly. no. Exactly. I'm not quite sure whether we go up. I and think there, I might or... be down. Let's have a look. Yeah, let's go have a little wonder. Looks okay, a bit that's all right. No, no, it's down. Sorry, guys. It's down. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> They'll follow this yeah. natural pathway. Gully. Yeah, you, where you are is good. Sort of slightly right of centre. Uh-huh. And then you you know, so she'll we, see it earlier. Is it kind of an angle both job a bit here? Um, well, my instinct is I think it, it looks like it's on a two strider, doesn't it? Uh-huh. So let's assume that we've hugged the right, we've just made a nice turn here. We're gonna jump just left of centre. Right here, very slight angle. Yeah. And then, very slight angle. Mm -hmm. Probably won't land further than this, yeah? Yeah. Being a step. So you're looking right. Ooh, that's rubbish. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't be more rubbish if it tried. So we're going to go centre this time. OK. And you are going to be angling a bit, right? So you've got a nice, slightly right of centre down here. The post is a brilliant uh -huh. eyepiece. Nice flag to keep you in. And you're going to go post to dead centre of the next one. Uh huh. And. You know, you don't have to be too pussy-fussy around. <laughs> you, you, you can, yeah. you know, you've jumped that, you've, you've, you've cantered down there, and you're going to sit up and say, right, here we go. Yeah. Step, boing, boing. By this point, hopefully, I'm comfortable yeah. putting my leg on and yeah. trust her. And yeah. when, you, when you land up on the bank, you'll see whether you need to just press a bit or it's going to work yeah. perfectly. Yeah. yeah. Feel it. Is it's it's quite difficult always judging a up on up onto things because it's not actually a jump, mm -hmm. and b landing into things like water. Mm -hmm. Some yeah. will land bigger than others, and so judging your distance in water is always a bit of a mishmash. Yeah. and that's why yeah. they always say feel it, don't ride it, just feel it. Okay. Sort of thing. Yeah. But at no. least this, like when I aim here, I, yeah. I don't feel like I'm having to really make up ground no, no, there. No. Which, I mean, she'll probably be a bit tired now, so that will yeah. be better. And you've got this so nice wing. This yeah. on an angle. Yeah. And then it's pretty obvious for her where yeah. she's going. Dead centre. It's not very big. No. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and those fences after the two angled brushes. Yeah. You can afford to push on a bit for them, can't yeah, you? Yeah, you can. Yeah. And you tell me I need to push on for that bridge as well, so yeah, hopefully that so. won't hold me up too much. Exactly. <laughs> it's exactly where Tara is, right? So further up here. Uh -huh. And then uh, we have to walk the distance, but I, I'm thinking the right-hand window, only because it then gives me time to land and make a nice turn. Mm -hmm. But it might be completely the wrong distance, so I'll go and walk it first, shall I? Okay, yeah. So just Send a very in. slight angle over the right-hand window. Uh, 
Am I about right here? Yep. Well, that's about perfect. Yeah. Okay. Um, yes, if you want to try and get the four. No, 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 but no. I, I can't see the point, really. No. It sort of gives you a nice, gentle lead through. Yeah. Yeah, because these are quite wide for this stage in the course. I could only not respect them. And a little bit, they kind of say anything over four on a bend, yeah. you can play with. Yeah, OK. So, you know, if you land, just ride it. Yeah. But it, it works on five. Yeah. Basically. Yeah. And you're not taking any unnecessary risks. No. And why would you bother to do no. that? You know, you've got this far. <laughs> Final fence. Hopefully I make Yay. it here on Jammy. You will. Positivity. I definitely will. Yeah. Ginny's going to hit me with a stick yeah, if I don't. Yeah, i hit you with my stick. <laughs> I will. <laughs> Yay! That's all right, isn't it? That's quite a nice last Lovely. fence, actually. Yeah, really inviting. And then the flags are quite close. Mm. Oh, excellent. Dreamy, we've made it. <laughs> it's got its problems. Um, but I, I, it's, it's not trappy at all. No. It? It's very fair. But the bits that might catch people out are the, the, the turns before. Mm -hmm and the unbalancing of the turn, given the ropes are very tight compared to normal. Yeah. And I don't think necessarily people will clock that. Yeah, and yeah, they might notice that it's tighter, but not how that's actually going to affect exactly. the fence, which and is kind of what I would do. And they probably suddenly realise when they're on course, oh my goodness, I've, I've over underdone the turn, I've yeah. overdone the turn, and yeah. I'm not straight, and I think you have to use like, every inch available, don't you? You do, like... uh, and also cut every corner you can that's uh -huh. available. You know, if you can stick to the left-hand ro uh, rope, then you kind of knife off to the right-hand rope. Yeah. Then you're 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 riding a, a a smoother track, more like a sort of train on a track. Yeah. You know, you're just being smooth and. In doing that, you're not unbalancing the horse, you're conserving energy for the horse. Uh huh. Yeah. Et cetera, et cetera. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Oh, well, thank you very much. My that pleasure. was really, really helpful. I hope it goes well. I hope it goes well too. I will let you know. Well, you must. <laughs>